For the past few months, I had been feeling unmotivated, stuck, and any form of creativity refused to flow through me. I knew a trip somewhere was long overdue, and I desperately wanted to sneak off for a couple of days to some hilly hamlets nearby. Kalingpong was just that place. The last time I visited Kalingpong was in 2017, and while I hop over to Darjeeling every now and then, I felt it was a bit unfair that its cousin doesn't get as much attention from me. I created a small itinerary and decided to stay open to ideas from locals, and that was the best decision ever. For the duration of 48 hours that I was going to spend here, I picked out Mission Valley Homestay. This place already had some good reviews and although a little bit far from the main town area, is the perfect place for those who want to get away from the daily hustle bustle, indulge in breathtaking views of the mountain and be blown away by the love and hospitality you will receive here. On our first day, we hit up an iconic restaurant for this steaming hot fluffy momo, get to see handmade paper production at a local paper factory, visit some beautiful monasteries and allow my soul to get the much needed break. Join me for a complete cultural immersion of this tiny little hilly town that's seeping with history. Let me give you all a room tour. This is the bed, the view, there's a nice chair and here's the washroom. The place is very pretty, very cute, cozy room and yeah, looking forward to spending maybe one day, maybe a couple of days here. Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Meher and I do food and travel related videos. So today I'm in Kalingpong and I'm in Kalingpong after a very long time. Like I think the last time I was here was in 2017. So six years later I'm here. And although I get to go to Darjeeling so often, I don't usually come to Kalingpong, but there are so many places to explore here. There are cute cafes great food i'm gonna be here either for a day or two i have not yet decided and i want to show you guys everything about kalingpong so it's gonna be a very detailed guide for kalingpong and you guys must watch this video till the end also i'm staying at mission valley homestay it's a little in the outskirts so if you want to stay in the hot spot it would be a far trek for you keeping that in mind this property is so pretty my tiny little room along with this twin bed and the view from here and everything and also the management they're really sweet very helpful so yeah in case you guys want to check out a hotel and if you are okay with staying a little far away from the main town area then you guys can check out mission valley i have asked the management here to get me to book a taxi for me so i could go and do some local sightseeing kalimpong is a very special place for me because like the first time i came here was with my grandfather and i was super close to my grandfather and he took me around to so many places and he used to tell me stories about this place because he was he had a sales job and he used to work here for like quite long periods of time so he knew people here he used to come here very often yeah like the first time i came here was with him it holds a special place in my heart because of that and every time he used to kalingpong is also famous for his cheese and uh, the kalingpong lollipops so every time he used to come here for work he used to bring back those chocolates for me and i used to like get so happy um, but apart from that kalingpong is also famous for its noodles and a lot of like different homegrown items and i'm going to show you guys more of those at the hard bazaar tomorrow which the hard bazaar specifically opens on wednesdays and saturdays and people from a lot of neighboring villages also come and sell all of the products that they grow so it's like most of the stuff available are organic homegrown and yeah so like when you come here and you buy stuff from these places you also support a lot of small locally owned businesses so i'm looking forward to the hard bazaar but today i'm gonna go do a bit of local sightseeing and i'm gonna go hit up a cafe and um, one of my favorite restaurants i'm gonna go to gompu's for momos their momos are like mind-blowing so let's get going they have a water dispenser prevents like a lot of unnecessary use of plastic i feel i love the array of beautiful plants you have the variety of petunias. 
Imagine finding a weird song we book here. So I'm heading for breakfast now and um, the management at the property they were like really kind enough to hook me up with a cab here. And also like in case you guys want to like book the same property, I think you should hit them up directly because um, the charges for the room that I'm staying in, it's for like 1200 bucks. But since I booked it through booking.com, I'm paying over a thousand bucks. But that's also alright because I got an early check-in so the check-in time is 12 but I checked in at like say 9. So now I'm gonna head for some brekkie. We are going to Gompus. So see you guys from there. Okay, they've changed the entryway for this place. Before it used to be different. I think this is the restaurant, yeah. The entire place has changed because the owner uh, has changed. Before the entryway was different, you had to like enter from somewhere else and uh, now it has more of a like bar feel to it. Before it was more like a restaurant and like it was like a very tiny cozy restaurant before and I remember that there used to be a royal and feel at the entryway. Also, I filmed like a whole Kevin Pong vlog six years ago and then my SD card got corrupted and I could never upload that vlog which turned out good for me because that gave me another chance to come back here and also that time I was really bad at filming and my camera used to be so like I could not hold my camera properly and my videos used to be super shaky at that time so it all worked out in my favor I guess music is a little light loud here and it's like it's hard like I'm trying not to get copyright strike because of music but the chai is so good and as much as I'm a coffee person in the mornings I need my chai I really don't know how to eat this. I think I'll just use my hands. I just had two of them and I'm already so full. waiting for the cab here but the problem is I don't remember the car I was in but he said he's gonna pick me up from here I just remember it was written blessed in the front of the car also the people are like so nice and helpful here like even the police woman standing behind me at the chalk she I could not find the address in the morning so she helped me figure out where my hotel is located and now she spotted me like a while ago and she was like did you find your place and everyone will smile at you they're like super nice and everything i think that's the part Zangdhok Palri Monastery or what is popularly known as Durpin Monastery is located on top of the Durpin Dara Hill in Kalimpong. We've come to our first point of the day that's Durpin Monastery. This place is so beautiful and the the road to here is even more beautiful because you pass by the army cantonment area and that is like so well maintained and pretty. This monastery was established in 1970 by Dujjum Rin and consecrated by His Holiness the Dalai Lama six years later. The sacred Kangyur is kept inside the monastery and it consists of 108 volumes which were carried by the Dalai Lama during his exile. In fact, famous Russian philosopher and artist Helena Rorek's ashes were also cremated right beside this monastery. Next up, we are heading to Morgan House and let's check out. I don't know how much filming is allowed in these roads, but if I can, I'm gonna give you guys a view of the golf area. We have the Morgan House.
so visitors are not allowed here and only residential guests are allowed that building you see covered with like greens Morgan House was basically built in the 1930s it's a British colonial bungalow and it was built to celebrate the wedding of George Morgan who was the indigo plantation owner and Jude Baron an urban folk says that this house is haunted by Lady Morgan and people apparently who stay here can still hear footsteps of the lady at night but how far that is true there's only one way to know actually stay here and figure that and find that out it's a boutique hotel and it's under the west bengal tourism so you can book the property and find it out for yourself if this place is haunted or not so this is like the golf ground the place is closed today of course but i think this place is mainly for army officers who live in the area probably they are the ones who use it for recreational purposes this is crookety house i don't know how do you get in visiting hours is wednesday to sunday 2 pm to 4 pm i was most excited about crookety house but unfortunately it's not open today and uh, so we are here at gorepur and i'm going to try and see if i can come back tomorrow and find look at crookety house because i really wanted to come here but now let me show you guys gorepur house so this abandoned property used to be a much loved destination for rabindranath tagore in fact he spent a lot of his later years in life here and even the famous poem john modi was aired on all india radio from this house itself and tagore obviously took a liking to this kalimpong kashmahal area a few meters ahead from here there was another property another area that tagore liked a lot which was chitrabhanu that area has been was leased out by his son for 90 years under his wife's name pratima devi tagore himself could not see the construction there or his place um but it was pratima devi who took care of the property so we are not going to chitrabhanu today we are just going to take a look at goripur the house is kind of in shambles and although it is supposed to be maintained by the conservation department but no work so far has been done এই ভবনে কবিগুরু রবীন্দ্রনাথ ঠাকুর বাস করিতেন এবং পঁচিশে বৈশাখ থার্টিন ফর্টি ফাইভ ইয়ার সনের জন্মদিনে কবিতা আকাশবাণীর মাধ্যমে আবৃত্তি করিয়াছিলেন anyone lives here or not because i did see some flower plants in one of the balconies and some cloth in the windows so i don't know if anyone actually lives here i think some construction workers stay here i just feel it must have been so pretty at one time This is a Buddha park. This is so windy and the scenic beauty is unmatched.
I think this place has newly opened up. I don't see a lot of visitors here, but I've noticed that it's common to entire Kalimpong. So this is the Guru Padma Sambhava viewpoint upper chair. Look at the views from here. Oh my God, it's breathtaking. Most people like come to Darjeeling and then they head straight to Sikkim. So a lot of people give Kalimpong a miss, which is kind of sad. There's so much to explore here. There are like so many paragliding places here in case anyone is interested. Look at this. This is what tourists do. It's kind of shameful. I'm at Delo Park right now. This park, this place is echoing. I think I should film outside. So basically, this is the highest point of Kalimpong. Kalimpong, the town is situated in the ridge area between Durpin Hill and Delo Hill. Delo Park is so beautiful, like the beautiful flora of this park is enough to bring you here. Also, there are a number of paragliding shops outside. So if you are an adventure sport junkie, you can try that out, but I'm terrified of it. So I'm not gonna do it. Although my driver, he told me that it's pretty safe and the people are trained, but I don't think I have the time for it. And I also lack the enthusiasm for it. And also I think Mr. John, my tour guide and driver for the day, he deserves a very special mention. He's so patient. He's been giving me a wonderful tour of Kalimpong showing me every little spot and explaining everything to me and if you guys are planning to come to Kalimpong I'll add his number in the description below so you guys can contact him and make sure you contact him a day or two before so do book him in advance and rest assured you'll have a wonderful tour of Kalimpong this is also where you can try horse riding if you're interested in it this is also a government property apparently a lot of ministers and people come here and stay this is the Dalo tourist lodge and you can book the place from these places and these are the tariffs in case you guys want to stay here I can hear the thunder and it's drizzling slightly so I'm gonna head back to the car now this is such a pretty place to take photographs these are the moments when I wish I was not traveling solo and someone could take pictures for me because it's so pretty show you guys paragliding someone is so brave out there taking the skies this looks so nice though I wish I could I wish I had the balls to do it the roots of this monastery can be traced through the Sakya lineage. It goes as far back as 1073 AD. This is the entry. His Holiness the 41st Sakya Trizin and his son, His Holiness Khandung Ratna Vajra Rinpoche established the Sachin Thinle Darge Ling Sakya Monastery in Kalimpong. It's raining heavily now. Monastery is the largest in Kalimpong subdivision and they also have a school, the studying center here as well, plus living quarters of the monks. The rains have subsided a bit and now I've come to look at the Lepcha Museum. I don't know how much I'll be able to film inside, but fingers crossed. Now this is also locked. Look at this beauty. Although slightly bummed that I couldn't take a look inside the Lepcha Museum, I had to move onwards and next up, I was extremely eager to take a peek inside how paper is made. 
जो हम लोग का बात से बनता है ये पेपर ये हम लोग बोलता है लोकल ऑर्गेनिक बोलता है एक्चुअली इसका बोटानिकल नेम है डेफ ने एजोटिया और कैनाबिना अब बात ऐसा होता है ये बात है ये जो गैस से स्टीम काट कर ये छिलका निकाल देता है ये निकालने के बाद ये साफ कर देता है ऐसा ऐसा कर देता है इसके बाद हम लोग को ऊपर में एक तो बहुत बड़ा डायरेक्टली बोलने से वो प्रेशर कुकर बनता है एक्चुअली इसका टेक्निकल नेम है वॉमिटिंग डाइजेस्ट उसमें बॉयल कर कर नीचे ला कर ये बॉयल भाग है ये जो देख रहा है ना ये ये बॉयल किया है ये बॉयल इस मिशीन को बोलता है बिटर मिशीन इनसा इसका चॉपिंग नाइफ है आप आफ्टर चॉपिंग ये पल्प बन जाता है ये पल्प हो गए फिर इधर ला कर यहाँ पे डाल देता है आप देख रहे हैं रोज दिन पल्प को ऐसा पल्प बन जाता है ये रोजिन पल ब्लो वाटर मिक्स कर कर ये गोल्डन पेन बैम्बू स्किन है वो तो एक ऐसा एक एक करके लगाता है उसके स्टैकिंग होने के बाद फिर यहाँ ले यहाँ लाएगा यहाँ लाकर प्रेस करना पड़ेगा जितना पानी है नीचे को निकालना पड़ेगा उसके बाद ऊपर में धूप में कल सुबह वो ड्राई होता है शूज पहन के जा सकते हैं हां जी आई है ओके लो ना शूज पहन के वाओ ऐसा पेपर बनता है इस पेपर को बोलता है एक तो लॉन्ग फाइबर पेपर और ये प्लेन पेपर है मोटा हुआ ये मोटा जैसे में ये है टेक्सचर पेपर एक तो होता है राइस फाइबर पेपर ओ फाइबर पेपर होता है ये होता है बासिक प्रिंट है इसको बोलता है रेनबो डाई क्रीज पेपर और ये कलर पेपर है और एक तो और टाई एंड टाई होता है और ये सब लैंड सेट है टेबल बीन पेन स्टैंड ग्रीटिंग कार्ड्स डॉल एनबोल कैरी बैग डायरी बुक्स ये सब बिजनेस कार्ड राइटिंग पैड नीचे कैरी बैग ये सब नोटबुक डायरी ये ये पेपर में किरासी रंग नहीं लगता है दूसरा पेपर से बहुत मजबूत होता है और ये हल्का भी होता है और किसी को अगर परचेज करना होगा कुछ तो कैसे कर सकते हैं यही से डायरेक्ट और ये नोटबुक का क्या प्राइस है थ्री हंड्रेड है थ्री हंड्रेड एंड ग्रीटिंग कार्ड वगैरह हंड्रेड रुपीज ये नेचुरल फ्लावर का है हाँ अच्छा ये नेचुरल फ्लावर फ्लावर ड्राई करके ये मिट्टी में है सब रेडी है ओके ये टू हंड्रेड का है फोर हंड्रेड का है ये टेबल में ये सब थ्री हंड्रेड का है उसका पीछे में एनबल है निकाली ऐसे ये एनबल पिक्चर दिखा रहा है उस विलेज में यही तरीका है बनाने का ये पूरा डिपेक्ट क्या हुआ है दिस इज हाउ द पेपर इज मेड दर प्रोसेस इज इलास्ट्रेटेड प्रॉपरली एंड देर इज ऑल्सो ऑन वेलॉप्स यो दिस इज सो ब्यूटिफुल ये पेपर का ही ये फेब्रिक लग रहा है ना विजिटिंग कार्ड है कार्ड। तो ये आ, अगर किसी को स्टैम्प करवाना होगा तो ये भी यहाँ पे हो जाता जी। ओके। अभी आप ऊपर भी जा सकते हैं, उधर वो बात छिलका निकल रहा है ओके। ड्राई तो नहीं अभी बारिश हो गया उठा दिया कल सुबह धूप लगने से This is the bark of the tree. 
हाँ हाँ उस, उसके बाहर का छिलका है इसको इस तरह से खींच के निकाल के फिर पानी में भिगा के इसका इस, इस तरह से साफ कर देते हैं जो उसके न ऊपर वगैरह इसको निकाल के इस तरह से इसे क्लीन करते हैं इस तरह से ये जो बाहर का का है ना इसको निकाल दिया और इसको इस कुकर में डाल के बॉईल करते हैं ये है वो प्रेशर कुकर जी और उस पकने के बाद इस तरह से बन जाते हैं नरम सॉफ्ट और इसको नीचे ले जाके हम लोग पेपर बनाते हैं ओके ये ये भिगोया हुआ पहले ना भिगा के नरम हो जाते हैं ना में आसान होती है दिस इज द प्लांट इट्स टाइनी राइट नाउ व्हेन इट ग्रोज इट्स अबाउट टेन टू फिफ्टीन फीट Of all the places I visited today, this one was the best. It was so fun watching the entire process of paper being made, and I got a few things because I do like supporting local businesses. And if you guys are in Kalimpong, Ting Yang Jiang paper industry on your agenda, and make sure you pick up something from them, maybe the notebooks or gift bag. Look at the view from here. This construction site is kind of ruining it. Some local paper, notebooks, some handmade cards. has a very zara-ish smell these are for 549 but the one that i liked i like this one and i don't see any fresh piece for that let me see these two. these are for men but i really like the white one they also have like fragments bar the packaging is so lux Love these as well. I think these are throws. This one looks so cool. These are for twelve hundred. Even the door is so rustic and pretty. I'm pretty tired after all the sightseeing and everything, and I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and. Uh, cake I'm in love with their banana and peanut butter cake the last time I was here was 6 years ago and I had a bunch of their stuff so I've already had their burger their pizza they do really good pizza this is just delightful I'm back in my room after a long day of sightseeing and I'm feeling kind of hungry so I have that one momo left from my morning breakfast and I'm gonna gorge on that it's cold now though still tastes so good yeah I woke up right now from a 20 minute power nap and it's quite chilly now and my allergies have been flaring up a little so we go head for dinner now and i'm going to have dinner at the hotel itself place is usually shut down early here and also it's too cold to go out and if i go out i don't know how i'm going to come back here I placed my order uh, when i was when i came back to the hotel so i asked them to make like dal chawal and maybe a little bit of chicken curry for me i really like this area Like a like nice cozy spot to sit, kind of like Iranian, Afghani houses. 
rice, chicken, a bit of salad. It's all steaming hot. Unfortunately though I will not be able to finish this. So I kind of feel bad. Take some dal. This looks so good. Chicken. Food is so good, so homely, so simple. I'm gonna do a bit of like a lettuce wrap thing. That's all. I could not finish it. I tried really hard, but well, the dal chawal was like medicine to my soul after a long tiring day. And honestly, all I need right now is to go to my room and just hit the sack. Good night, y'all.